Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to some more VGC on the channel. Uh, so we're just going to continue our uh, attempt to climb up the ladder, I guess. Um, more recent episodes, we've been losing a couple as well, so we need to try and stem that tide. Uh, we are using the same team as before. Uh, I'm sort of starting the work on a new team. Uh, I kind of want to try out some different Pokemon and keep things fresh, I guess, as we go. But um, yeah, looks like got a opponent. Uh, okay. There's a Bufalant on here, uh, which is very interesting. It pairs up well with uh, Urshifu, because uh, Bufalant gets Anger Point. Uh, so we have to be very careful about, obviously, opposing Gothitelle. I think Togekiss is a, an extremely good lead here. Uh, but what do, else do we want to lead with? I'm thinking Incineroar, to be honest. Uh, helps out against Dragapult, helps out against Gothitelle. Uh, depending on the Urshifu type though, it meant to be great. Uh, helps out against Rillaboom, gets Intimidate off obviously on Cinderace. Yeah. Okay. And the other question is what do we want in the back? Don't really think Rillaboom does too much for us here. Then anyway, we just bring Cinderace. And... Hmm. Probably just Tyranitar. Not really sure who I want to Dynamax in this game. Uh, but, um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I could have bought Gothitelle myself to try and lock him into something if he didn't bring his. Uh, but I... I suspect he's going to try and lead the Bufalon, uh, with Urshfu. Uh, and I can't remember that. I think Bufalon's base speed is very low from memory, though. So they may even, uh, attempt a Trick Room. Alright, I don't know what this is. Wow, I was extremely wrong. <laughs> I was very, very wrong. Okay. But it is interesting to see uh, Cinderace and Dragapult here, two Pokemon that you would generally expect your opponent to Dynamax. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Very, very interesting. So I kind of want to go for a Yawn here into the Cinderace. I'm tempted just to Darkest Lariat or even uh, Burning Jealousy. Burning Jealousy isn't a move we have, uh, isn't, is not a move that we've shown off yet. Uh, it's brand new to the part of the Isol of Armor DLC. It's a spread move, it is a special attack, so it's not going to do a whole lot of damage. Actually, and I just realized I'm Burning Jealousy and Yawning. I'm not smart. <laughs> I do this all the time, man. Okay. Um, it kind of, actually, I guess it just covers, say, if the Cinderace maybe goes for like a Mac, like a Pyro Ball or something, but I suspect it's Max Flare, uh, sorry, Max Knuckle or Max Airstream or even Steel Spike, probably. Is this Phantom Force actually? Okay. That's, uh, that's really interesting. It is Steel Spike. Okay, so that should go into our, uh, Beery Berry. So a bit of a wasted turn, obviously, because of the the Yawn plus uh, everything else, but in fairness to myself, and it's not very good fairness, but in fairness to myself, uh, Dazzling Gleam and Air Slash aren't doing a whole lot. So we get the Yawn off, uh, and we immediately burn his Jealousy, so it's actually going to burn the Cinderace. And get a little bit of chip damage, which is nice. Alright. Cool. So, what we want to do now is Dazzling Gleam and Darkest Lariat the Dragapult. Okay, so Phantom Force goes out in Togekiss. Uh, we should live, which we do. Uh, I was actually expecting a uh, Max Knuckle, uh, but Steel Spike will KO the Togekiss here. Uh, Darkest Lariat does ignore stat changes, uh, so it should just be doing regular damage to this Dragapult. Uh, and the plus side is obviously like, the Cinderace is at minus one attack from the Intimidate, and obviously uh, its attack is then lowered further by burn. Yeah, Darkest Lariat's just so good. Um, it's definitely like... Not as good, I would say, generally as knockoff, but in this generation, for whatever reason, Incineroar does not get knockoff, so. Kinda lame. 
Uh, okay, so I kind of want to go out into my own Cinderace here. Uh, as our opponent only has one more turn of Dynamax left. It's actually Urshifu. I think that's the Rapid Strike one. I think. And it could be Choice Scarf, it could be Focus Sash. I've seen a lot of Focus Sash Urshifus. Uh, what do I want with this one? It is the Water one, okay. Hmm. What's the best play here? I could Airstream. Yeah, I think I need to double into the uh, Urshifu here. As I'm just going to Darkest Lyra. I'm going to attempt to double into it. Uh, I can't remember the speed stat on my Incineroar. Because I don't, I don't think an Airstream... So giving Incineroar the plus one speed, I don't think it's going to make it faster than Urshifu. In fact, I know it won't. Because uh, if it's Jolly Urshifu, it hits like 163 and Adamant's 149. Uh, and I'm pretty sure my Incineroar's speed is about 80. So I'll only go to about 120. Uh, but that's fine. We'll find out now. It's almost 100% Focus Sash. They all are. And some of them can carry Counter... It's not Focus Sash. Okay. I was not expecting that, obviously. Uh, in that case, then I probably could have Flare Blitzed, but I think Darkest Lariat still works out fine. Uh, we just have to not get crit here. That's kind of the, the thing, unfortunately, with a lot of this stuff. Oh, okay, never mind. Incineroar eats that up. So Incineroar are absolutely coming in clutch in this game. Um, Burning Jealousy is like a really, really cool tech move, I think. As you can see, like one of the strongest Pokemon in the format in uh, Cinderace loves to Dynamax, loves to boost its own stats, um, and it just gets punished. Like it just straight up gets punished. All right, so the proof one is here, which is very interesting. Uh, I'm gonna max knuckle I think and just uh flare blitz uh, I don't know what this proof one's gonna do I don't want to deal with it uh maybe I should have just taken out the opposing cinderace because a high jump kick crit could uh ruin us um yeah it I'm not sure if this is like say like the safest play is more what I'm saying never mind <laughs> and like, so if you didn't know, uh, the, the the max version of fight of the fighting type and the max version of poison uh, cap out at 95 uh, BP. Uh, is it BP? Yeah, no. they, they cap out at 95, uh, whereas the rest cap out at say about 160 unless they're special in some way. Uh, and so generally they're weaker, but they're, the counter side of that is you obviously... Uh, get a stat gain out of it that's the whole reason why they're they're capped at such a low amount for a strong attack so i wasn't really expecting max fighting to kill there that's kind of the moral of that story uh but yeah looks like i'm gonna take the first game uh which is awesome uh again incinero doing its job uh tokis i guess doing its job in the fact that it forced their opponent to target down uh but yeah that's uh gonna do that one we'll continue battling and i'll just cut till i find another battle all right so we found another trainer here and as you can see we've also uh ranked up which is pretty cool uh i think i was literally just looking at this team on a list of rental teams um because i was trying to, trying to see what else i wanted to play uh and pretty sure this team popped up uh but i didn't see the move sets or anything uh okay so the, it's got the core of ha uh, hatterene and ndd because uh, of Psychic Terrain, then you Trick Room up with Follow Me and Diddy, blah 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 blah. Uh, another Trick Room user in Porygon, and Amoongus with Redirection, and just an Urshifu for general annoyance. Uh, I kind of want to lead Double Dark here. Um, yeah, that Urshifu could be a problem though. Same with that Marowak actually, I swear man, that thing is just stupidly powerful. Uh, okay. I think we need to bring Rillaboom, and we could just bring Togekiss, I, just for the Urshifu, to be honest. 
Uh, or we bring Cinderace. Cinderace is definitely not very good under Trick Room. I bring Tokus. Might be actually the first game we don't bring Cinderace in. Hopefully it works out. Uh, the idea behind Double Dark is it obviously counters Double Psychic. Uh, our opponent could read into that, lead the Urshifu with say Porygon. Uh, we don't have Fake Out on the Incineroar because we have Burning Jealousy instead. Um, yeah, we'll see. It's indeed Marowak. Okay, so not quite what we expected here. Uh, however... So we get Psychic Terrain. Can't Fake Out anyway. The Battlefield got weird. Okay, so it's not Focus Sash. Uh, it's just a... So it's guaranteed faster to... I was trying to think, so... I'm pretty sure Tyranitar is faster... Actually, we know Tyranitar is faster than the Incineroar. Ah, uh, because Sandstream went up before Intimidate. Okay. I don't think a Darkest Lariat KOs the Marowak. Uh, but it should do a lot. And I'm tempted just to max Dark the... Indeedy. I don't know if that KOs though, to be perfectly honest, and that's like the- that's a terrifying thought. Uh, and I don't know if Marowak gets a fighting type move. Marowak might even switch out, to be honest. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, yeah, so Marowak does switch out. So we Darkest Lariated that slot. Man, if we'd Flare Bliss, it would've been sweet. So the Indeedy stays in, which is interesting, because again, we're- we're leading double Dark here. So... I can't remember if Indeedy gets Yawn, uh, I don't think it gets Hypnosis, but I could be proven wrong and we could just lose turn 1, who knows. Indeedy just protects, okie dokie. So we'll get some like really decent chip damage on uh, Indeedy. Yeah, that's not bad. So Max Stark, if it hadn't protected, would have KO'd. I was actually really tempted to max fighting there, uh, and I'm thinking I actually should have, but anyway. Darkest Lariat, so we get some chip damage on this Amoongus too. That's some really good chip damage. Uh, so both of these Pokemon have access to Follow Me shenanigans. Uh, so I'm just going to max Darkness the Ndidi again, and I'm going to Flare Blitz the Amoongus. Maybe I should have... Nah, I think this is fine. I think the Ndidi, if anything, is the Follow Me, uh, uh, and a Spore maybe coming out from the Amoongus. Amoongus could switch to back into Marowak, predicting a Flare Blitz. Uh, he could be trying to stall out my Dynamax that way. Um, and I did Flare Blitz, actually. I was just thinking I should have um, Darkness Lariated it again, but I can't really risk the uh, Spore. Yeah. Marowak straight back in. He has Hyper Voice, that's... yeah. It's whatever. <laughs> okay, so that's Ndidi out of the way. And we'll, we'll get a Flare Blitz off. Yeah, so again, like my I my gut was telling me to Darkest Lariat, obviously didn't listen, but um That's fine. Nice chip damage. Uh as we do find out Incineroar is faster than the Marowak because it does take sand damage first. So that's good. So it could be potentially a Moongus coming back in. Uh because Amoongus would have regenerator, assuming he has the hidden ability one, which he should. Uh, so we'll come back in at full HP, so I actually don't know if it dies to, uh, say like... Oh, it's Urshifu. Okay, and that's a Rapid Strike one. Right, so our opponent was doing everything they could to get the... Yeah, that's that one. Okay, cool. Uh, to get that Pokemon in. Hmm. So, I'm assuming then Urshifu is his Dynamax Pokemon. Tempted to, to uh, Burning Jealousy, because what does he do? He could max Fighting. Uh, we obviously can't burn the Marowak though. Uh, who do we have in the- oh, we have Tokus in the back, hey. 
Alright, I'm going to Darkest Lariat and uh, Rockfall the uh, Marowak slot. I need to get rid of this Marowak. So Marowak stays in. Urshifu uh, Gigantamaxes, I assume. Could be Marowak, actually. I didn't consider that. No, it is Urshifu. Okay. So we're going to probably copper max fighting here. This is why I was tempted to Burning Jealousy. Uh, but yeah. As Marowak detects, damn it. Okay. Well, I'm actually getting outplayed in this one, so... Well done to my opponent. So actually, max fighting's the Incineroar, uh, which is interesting. So, on the plus side, a Burning Jealousy wouldn't have done anything for us there. Okay, so max rockfall, 3 protect, probably doing maybe like 25%. Eh, a bit more. That's not bad. Urshifu breaks a potential Focus Sash. Okay. We got Rillaboom in the back. Need to worry about this, uh... Uh, Moongus too. So I could go Tokus. I'm just worried about a Steel Spike, that's all. Actually, we do have Follow Me on the Tokus, but I think I need this thing for uh, Dazzling Gleam. Rillaboom does have Grassy Glide. Actually, Choice Band Grassy Glide. Hmm. Let's go Tokus. Alright, so we lose our Dynamax on Tyranitar. Alright, so follow me. And I think we just crunch here. But I don't know if the Marek switches out into a Moongus. It very well might. But I think Crunch is still our best play. Unfortunately, I've sort of shown my hand by continuously targeting the Marowak. Uh, I just... Okay. So... Okay. Hailstorm. So it's Ice Punch. Okay. That's uh, kind of terrifying. As Tokus dies to plus one Ice Punch. Oh, oh plus one Max Hailstorm, I should say. Sets up Hail though. Alright, let's get rid of the Marowak. Crit obviously didn't matter. So, it's pretty smart of our opponent. They're basically just ignoring the Tyranitar now because, like, Urshifu deals with it at any time but once, and I'm not a huge threat to it. Uh, now we have to deal with an Amoongus at full HP. Uh, and obviously Rillaboom has to lock itself into something. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, Moongus is mostly full HP, I should say. Uh, he had, actually, uh, I just realized Rage Powder doesn't work on Grass types. So we're heavily reliant upon... Uh, we're heavily reliant upon Choice Band Rillaboom right now in Grassy Terrain. I'm pretty sure Rage Battle doesn't work in Grass Types. Oh, come on, man. So it is Hailstorm. Okay, we need Rock Slide to connect. Or Rillaboom to live. I didn't think Rillaboom was living. Urshifu is too strong, man. Alright, come on, Tita. You got this, buddy. Oh, it's not doing anything. Well, that's bad. Oh. And we can't even protect because of Urshifu's ability. Yeah, we got so close to winning that. I swear, man. Like, Rillaboom has just gotten so close in so many battles to being good. And it just doesn't work out. I mean, I guess I should have gone... Hmm, I don't know. I don't know how I could have played that differently. Outside of, like, not being destroyed by my opponent. Uh, but yeah. I don't see a way to win this. Unless he, like, chokes, but there's definitely no way to win.
he could not be he might not be carrying close combat to be perfectly honest like straight up he might be like aqua jet surging strikes and uh ice punch nope never mind <laughs> uh as i am immediately uh disproven in that regard actually we saw the max knuckle i'm an idiot okay i lost to ikari i certainly did i was very outplayed there uh but it was a good game though um again rillaboom almost almost got it uh yeah oh uh all right we'll take our calcium and we'll grab one more so i'll just cut back to when i find the next battle all right so we have another battle here and we're up against this stupid water team uh so this team like won an event basically it's all water types except for the urshifu the urshifu was a, the dark one for some reason um yeah this is tough it's like horn drill seeking it, it, it's it's such a ridiculous team uh i'm tempted to lead tyranitar and uh Togekiss, but rillaboom is kind of our win con here which again i hate saying because god bless that pokemon just not doing what we need it to do uh, my issue is Dracovish lead. I really don't have a lot for Dracovish lead. I really, really don't. I guess we can go Gothtail Cinderace, uh, fake out the Dracovish if it leads. Uh, we don't really have a lot for Gyarados though. Bring Rillaboom. And probably Togekiss. Yeah. I mean, obviously, like, this seems, like, the, the water team's good for a reason. Like, it, it's just such a tough matchup. Uh, particularly if you don't have, like, a dedicated electric type. Uh, because of the Isolama DLC, too, so a completely different uh, segue here. Uh, I got, like, different battle music, so this is uh, what you're hearing now. Okay, so it is not quite what I expected, but it's Urshifu. It, it is the Dark One. Is it Intimidate De Gyarados? I don't remember. Or is it Moxie? It's Moxie. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fake out and airstream the Urshifu. I need this thing gone. Uh, so the goal with this is to try to sweep through our opponent with Cinderace as much as we can. Okay, so we... I hope I Dynamax right Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> okay, this uh, Dynamax Gothitelle is going to have to be putting in work. No, okay, that's fine. Cool. Uh, the reason I'm faking out into Airstream is because obviously uh, it could be Choice Scarf, it could be Focus Sash. Okay, no detect out from the uh, Urshi. Okay, the Gyarados also didn't Dynamax, which is interesting. Okay, Urshifu goes down. We're now guaranteed faster than everything on the team. I was expecting Lapras in, uh, in the back, to be perfectly honest. I wonder if I actually could have got away with Max fighting there, but I think that would have been a bad play just because... Um, is, that lot, is that Life Orb? Oh, wow. Because uh, if the Gyarados say Dynamax and it went for its own Max Airstream and I've just Max fighting, it's like I die, he gets some Oxy Boost and the game's over. Okay. So there's the fish, and god help us all. Uh, helping hand, uh, airstream I guess, that's like my best play. I have no idea if this KOs, I have no idea. Uh, I assume it's Gyarados Dynamaxing. Yeah, again I really don't have a lot for this Gyarados man. But if we can get rid of, hopefully we can get rid of the Dracovish, and uh, at that point, we should be doing okay. Hopefully. Cool. Uh, but obviously, like, the Gyarados could again go for Max Airstream now, uh, and if I faint, uh, he gets a Moxie boost, and it becomes extremely difficult to win at that point. There's the airstream. I need to live. 
Oh, it's Gothitelle. Gothitelle's tanking that. It's Gothitelle the beast. Uh, actually, <laughs> as annoying as Gothitelle is to face, I love this Pokemon. It's just so good. Uh, so I guess the plan is potentially to try and, uh, Tentacle, okay. Hmm. I don't know Tentacle. Okay, who have I got in the back? Rillaboom, Togekiss. Okay. Uh, I don't see any reason not to airstream the Tentacruel, I guess. Uh, helping Hand or Psychic, actually. I guess Helping Hand, actually, in case he protects. I could uh, actually airstream the Gyarados to get some chip on it for Rillaboom. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, okay. Um, I... Like, don't get me wrong, like, I was up 4-2, to two, but I think he was absolutely in a winning position. Uh, yeah. I mean, don't, it would have been tough. It absolutely would have been tough. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure why he scooped there. Uh, oh, well. Uh, cool. There's three battles down. Again, two wins, one loss. Uh, but we are up a rank, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do us off for this episode, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and I'll, I'll say this now. I really need to say this during the battles. But um, if there's a Pokemon you want to see me feature in these games, because again, I am trying to build a new team. Uh, and there's something you want to see featured, just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.